hello guys uh, today we will be seeing the installation of javascript uh, for visual studio code for javascript purpose and node.js so we will be installing both the node.js and the javascript so go on google for installing the node.js just uh, go on any browser and in the search bar search for node.js type node.js type node.js click enter and click on the first website node.js.org now you will be seeing uh, this website is going to automatically detect your what we call the operating system whether windows mac or linux it is going to automatically detect your operating system now since it has detected that my operating system is windows so there are it is showing for windows whether lds or the current latest feature so you have to select the lds because uh, it is bug free and it is the latest one but it is just the previous version and it's not going to change so you have to click on LTS, not the current version, because it will be changing. Uh, current version will be changing, and uh, we, you have to update each time or frequently. You have to update. So clicking on LTS, that is why it is the website is also saying that it is LTS is recommended for most of the user. So click on LTS. Well, after clicking on LTS, yeah, Node.js will automatically start downloading your that uh, software now you click on downloads where your software is downloaded after double clicking it just hit next just accept the agreement next you can uh, see which folder you want to store that software after the installation you can browse it from there next next and then install our system are installing the node.js software after the complete installation click on finish now our node.js is installed Now in the search bar you can type cmd you can open the command prompt for windows after opening the command prompt uh, you have to check something like uh, your val version node space and hyphen that is minus and minus v that is going to say uh, show you the version of which that node.js that you have installed so it is saying the 16.3.1 so this is the version of node.js that you have ins installed just now so this is for checking that whether our node 
Node.js has been installed successfully or not. If that version it was not showing, then it, it you can think that our Node.js is not installed properly. Now type nodes minus v. You should get node is not recognized as an external command. This is just for checking whether our node.js is installed successfully or not. This type of messages should get after typing this type of commands like node v and nodes minus v. After that, click type npm and then minus v. You will get the version npm version. This type of thing should also show in your system also. Then only you can understand that your Node.js is successfully installed. Now what the npm is, you can search on the Google or in your browser. It is a, it is helping, um, uh, it is, uh, it helps in the development uh, of JavaScript and it makes our things easy because the codes, uh, we get uh, the codes easily. After that, now it's time to our Visual Studio code. We have to install the Visual Studio code also. VS code. Now it's showing that download for Windows after typing on Google Visual Studio code and, and landing on the first website that it recommended download for Windows or a, or other platform it is in the on the below lines you have to download for windows if you have windows or mac if you, you can click on mac so after clicking on that the visual studio code software uh, setup is going to be downloaded It's taking some times, some time. Maybe the network is slow, or there is some error in my system. So after the downloading, I have already downloaded just double click on that setup you will get this i accept the argument click on i accept the argument and then next
then click on next next again next just create the shortcut desktop icon so that you can easily access that visual studio code and then click on install our system is installing that software click on finish now our visual studio code is there since i have already uh, i had already installed it earlier that's why it just op come to this page you will get some welcome page on that you can click on open folder and whatever folder you want to open you can just open it here i have opened the folder general page and when you click on any file then it will open its code associated to that file Now we will be exploring the workspaces what all things are in this workspaces how to increase our font size or decrease our font size we will be seeing the important extension that we have to install in the vs code to help coding our our javascript in a better way make sure to give the file name with extension that is html file should give the name stm.html javascript should get .js and css should give .css you can click on terminal and you can see the various options that we have new terminal then terminal will be shown you can do your installations side by side and in the terminal you write node space minus v that you have written earlier in the command prompt it is basically the command prompt only you are getting in the javascript itself so you will get the words and current words and you have For knowing the directory, you can click type dir and then hit enter. So you will get come to know the in which directory you are. Now write node space demo.js 
the file that you have opened in this way you will get the output that is hey the code is itself is console.log hey so the output should be hey so node demo.js you have to write for connected to for connecting it to node vs code now will be connected to node otherwise you will have been you will get error if you will not type this For running your code you can use either use the play button on the right hand right hand topmost side or either you can use the control alt n this is the shortcut for running your command control alt n and now we will be downloading our extension first extension is the code runner you can click on install I have already installed it so it is not showing the option it is showing code runner we will be installing three extension the second is the html css support this will help in writing our html and css code after clicking on that click on install i have already installed it so uh, i am getting only option uninstall and disable our third extension is going to be live server preview earlier we were uh, opening in the browser however after writing the code however um, website is going to act but now we will be seeing all this thing in a, the vs code only i will be uh, telling you how we can see that live server preview we are not required to open browser so live server preview will help in that so these are the three extensions that we have installed for the smooth running of our javascript codes and uh, will help us in writing that code in the file section you can open the folder and and files if you want to make new files new folder then you can do that Now I have uh, opened one file demo.html. It is a HTML file. If you will click on run code, then it is not going to work. You have to use the live server preview. If I click on uh, run button, then it is saying that code language is not supported or defined. For that you have to use the live server preview extension that we have downloaded it. It is just uh, you can see the code the title is demo and style that we have used just a background color having the height width and margin in the style uh, in the style uh, tag. So for running it you can use the uh, function f1 and you can click on live server preview for changing the font size or auto save you can click on settings and auto save click uh, change it to after delay you can change the font size even now auto save is on so as soon as you write your code your codes is going to be saved this is the script.js script .js file so function plus f1 is used for 
running the live server preview of our HTML code, click function plus F1 and live server preview in the first option. Then it will show the live server preview and we are not required to go to the browser again and again. You can see that as soon as I change it, the code of HTML to red, it is changing to red in the website also. So live server preview is helpful in this kinds of things. Live server preview is going to show you the actual behavior it is going to show when it you will see it in the browser you will see, see that website in the browser so you are uh, get got saved from switching between the editor and the browser again and again